Everyone wants to save money, especially during tough economic times like these. One way is to sell everything you own on eBay, but another, more simple way is by being a wise consumer, particularly when choosing what mobile phone and tariff to go for. But with hundreds of offers out there, choosing a plan can be confusing. The one thing you should be aware of is that mobile is the third most important consumer concern in the UK. And one of the key reasons is that they find it very complex and they find um, it very difficult to find the information on the right tariffs and all the bundles and so on. If you actually try to find that information in the market, it's very dispersed. Even the operators themselves don't have it in one centralized page and you have to look around a lot and spend a lot of time. So it's not really surprising that people can't figure out what's best for them. The good news, though, is that there are a growing number of sites popping up that aim to help navigate your way through the decision-making process. Mobile comparison sites give you a, a really good snapshot of what the market is at the, at the moment. So um, we, we gather deals from all the different retailers um, every two hours. So that gives you an idea of how much change there is in the market. So throughout the entire day and even the night, um, the mobile retailers will be changing their deal portfolio. So um, for a user to, to benefit from all the, all the deals, all the savings and offers you can get, um, a mobile comparison site is the only way to do that really. But the bad news is that there are so many mobile price comparison sites out there that deciding which one to use can also be confusing. I think there are too many comparison sites out there, but traditionally I've, I found all the comparison sites very boring. More than that, I think there are too many comparison sites that offer exactly the same product. So you go there and it's the same layout, the same deals, and it's overwhelming because then you, you end up thinking, well, out of all these comparison sites, which is the best comparison site? We've seen a huge number of comparison price websites starting to appear online in the mobile arena. Personally, I think this is a reaction partly to the times that we live in where people are examining every aspect of their household expenditure, but also the fact that these days the competitive levels inside the mobile market are higher than we've ever seen before. UK-based Amio lets you filter by networks, tariffs, manufacturers and added phone features to narrow down your purchase decision to manageable parameters. The site claims you can offer so much more than your regular retailer. We're starting to offer a lot more than the retailers can give. So we're giving a, a much un, an unbiased uh, review of phones, of deals. All of our deals on Omeo are ranked by popularity, so whereas a, a retailer is driven by you know, which, what's, how much commission they're getting from networks, we're totally focused on this is what the user wants and this is, uh, and this is what we think is a good phone for them. More often people are shopping online rather than going into a high street shop, so I think if you can offer them all the kinds of things that you'd get if you walked into a shop. According to analyst Ben Wood, telecoms retailers can soon be relegated to being simple showrooms. The challenge for mobile network operators is that consumers may go to those sites, find out the best deal and merely use those retail outlets as a showroom for the products that they've been looking for online. The network operators need to combat that by providing great advice at point of sale Bill Monitor has a unique approach. Rather than just comparing deals, it analyzes your phone bill by using scientific principles to identify the best price plan based on your usage patterns. According to their research, the majority of us are on the wrong price plan. And the number of people who are from our data on the wrong price plan is above 82%. And in fact, 88% um, could save considerable amounts of money from analysis of the bills that we've done and could save about 39% on average. So at least 82% don't fully utilize their plan, which we've seen. And there's a number at the other end as well, which go way above their allowance and they need a different kind of treatment. But as the market gets even more saturated, sites will need to position themselves as more than just a mobile comparison tool. One way they're starting to do that is with content. The latest entrant Recombu, which launched just last week, features expert editorial news and reviews of mobile handsets. Question is, is their content objective? I don't think it's any different from having an advert on, on a website. And I think if you look at most of the technology websites, they have adverts for Vodafone, for T-Mobile, for 3. They're, all the adverts are there and they offer the same things that our deals offer. There's no difference in terms of what's being offered through an advert than you get through what's offered in a deal. The difference is, is that we have all the networks and all the deals, well, as many as we can possibly get through feeds. So therefore, I think what we offer is actually even more objective than having an advert on top of an article. I think we offer, I think we offer choice, and I think that's ultimately what the consumer wants. Part of building more content into our, our experience is that we partnered up with um, some partner sites that have a lot of existing content already. And uh, we're going to be uh, starting um, selling some mobile comparison with CNET UK. 
we also offer a completely unbiased view, which is the retailers and the networks won't do. So we can recommend phones that we think are good, and also we can use uh, data from our site to push the most popular deals rather than the ones that make us the most money. As these sites get paid every time a referral leads to a sale, just how much of the advice they offer is actually in the best interest of the consumer. If people purchase mobile price plans through our site, we get paid a referral fee just like every other price comparison site, so that's one way we make money. The commission that um, comparison sites get paid varies massively between retailers, networks um, and even the site itself. So. Um, it, it, it all depends on, on volume and uh, what, the kind of, what they're offering. A big question in my mind is what's going to happen to the data that's captured on these price comparison sites. Undoubtedly that's the trade-off that users make when they go to them. In return for the information on the best tariffs and prices, they're leaving a footprint of what they're interested in. And I have no doubt that many of the network operators and retailers will be extremely interested in finding out exactly what's the hottest and most popular tariff today.